Hi guys, I'm Shane from Dartford Valley RFC and we are taking over Fill Your Boots Rugby Stories tonight. We're going to show you what we get up to on a Thursday night training session over here at the Lodge. Simon, so much better. Look at how much yards you got. Behind him again. Needs the ball to hands. Look to so what you're seeing at the moment is a range of our academy guys that are here for their after school club, homework, rugby club. Um, the guys come here after school, get a little bit of homework done and play rugby, most importantly. Uh, about to show you the under-16s doing their team run-throughs, getting ready for some fixtures coming up. Take in. Where his legs are, guys. So a usual Thursday at the club starts with our youth academy doing what they're doing at the moment. And they do that from five o'clock till seven o'clock. And then that's when the seniors take over uh, with a bit of S&C, followed by an hour and a half session working on run-throughs, plays, contact, um, all sorts. And we'll see that in a bit. So as well as the men's seniors training over there, we also share our pitch on a Thursday evening with our Dartford Valley Roses, playing at a development level currently and at the moment playing in ready for rugby fixtures, Swanley Black Swans. So to give a bit of a background to the club, we're based in Dartford at our new um, state-of-the-art facility, which is community and council backed, just off of the M25 after the QE2 bridge. We've currently got our first team floodlit artificial pitch, and soon to be behind me there, we'll also have a second team floodlit grass pitch as well. So over in this space over here that you can see is being levelled out currently, we're hoping to have our brand new community area, which will have an outside Brian uh, bar, as well as some seating areas, uh, children's play area, an oval shaped fire pit, as well as a memorial garden for uh, members of the community that we've lost due to the pandemic. We're really hoping and relying on the backing of our members and community members uh, who provide pledges and the link for that can actually be found on our bio in our profile. And the importance of the pledges that can be found on our bio is that actually the more people that pledge, just £2 is all we're asking is actually far greater than one person pledging £2,000. In order to get our grant, we need to be able to prove to the council that it is supported by our community which so far, having only been active for about a week or so, has actually got a hell of a lot of backing. But we need more, so if you are interested and you do want to support the club, 
please do head over to our profile, select the bio, mm -hmm. pledge a pound, two pound, whatever you can afford to do, and it will really, really go a long way for our clients the visiting rugby community that we see here every week as well. Where rugby is concerned, we have teams from as little as three years old all the way up to our seniors there. And our youth academy train on a Sunday. We then have senior training on a Tuesday and a Thursday, as well as our after school club, which is for under nines through to our under 16s on a Thursday. The importance of the after school club is that actually we support children doing their homework as well so they come here to get their education or to further their education as well as get high quality rugby coaching from some of our fantastic volunteers here. So that's a wrap for our ladies now, all really excited to get off the pitch and chow down on a bit of curry coming up from a local restaurant in Dartford known as a Jaflong. A uh, bit of a regular occasion here. Um, we've got a fantastic kitchen staff, we've got some fantastic food on offer. But in supporting the local community, we've had a bit of a tradition for the last two years, which we know is Scores Club. And you get curry and uh, two pints for a score, which is an absolute. The lads are getting in their final touches, but the ladies are now coming off the pitch. So we're on a little tour of the club. You will have to pardon the sort of storage area that it's become a little bit. Obviously nobody's been in here, so we've had a little bit of freedom to store things where we wouldn't normally. But in there we've got our club kitchen, which serves some great food on the weekend. You then walk into our club bar there, with murals all over the wall of uh, the club community. Okay, and then we walk through here, through to our through to our changing facilities. Again, a little bit of storageified, but very soon all of this will be cleared and the club will be back in full function and order, hopefully. So that's the downstairs covered, and the club bar gets used mainly for midweek general drinking and obviously game days. But we also have a fantastic option here for private functions. We've had some brilliant parties up here. You've got on a game day, a great view of the first team pitch there, which quite often people come and stand out on the balcony, especially nice of course on a lovely day. But in my money, the best view of the house is on this side of the balcony overlooking the Dartford Bridge. What a fantastic view. And once all of that mound of dirt's cleared, and once all the works here are completed within the next couple of years, what a place this will be. Right, how about that for a backdrop to sign off on then, eh? So big thank you to the guys at Fill Your Boots Rugby for allowing us to take over their page for the night. I hope you've enjoyed what I've shown you. Um, loads going on here all the time. So if you are interested, you like what you've seen here, you want to just support the club, or you're interested in joining us and you're local in the area, drop us a follow, send us a message. We're more than happy to welcome you aboard. In the meantime, and stay safe. Hopefully we'll see you down at the valley soon.